Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Gerard with MotoCigars.com and today we have a special guest from Boveda, Rob Gagne. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for having we me. We are here straight from the airport and what we're going to do today is we're going to talk everything that you need to know about Boveda. So Rob is going to enlighten us. But before we get going, I need you to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week with Mondays with Martos. Alright, so some of you may already know because you're clients of MotoCigars.com, but if you're new to our channel and to our website, I want to let you know that not only do we sell cigars, but we also service our consumers by making sure that every single 5-pack, 10-pack, or anything that we package loosely in a Ziploc bag comes with a Boveda to ensure the humidity and the freshness of your cigar. So today, we have been graced with the presence of Rob Gagne over here, which is the face of Boveda. Rob, one of the questions I have, can you explain to us the variations of different percentages of humidity and how do we use it? So in my hand, I have a 69%. By heart, right off the top of my head, I know we have 72%, which they say is optimum humidity, supposedly. And then we have the 85%, which is used for, you know, humidifying, excuse me, seasoning the humidor. Anyway, Absolutely. can you please tell us a little bit about these different percentages yeah. for cigars? Absolutely. You have already almost got the whole thing licked. I was feeling like I was stealing away from you. No, but. I appreciate it because <laughs> a lot of people will look at it and go, what the heck is 84% for? Right. Like, I would never put that by my cigars and I commend you. Don't ever put it by your cigars. Empty humidor, use one of the 60 gram size for every 25 total cigars that humidor holds. So if it's a hundred count, you're gonna need four of those. Put them inside, no cigars, 14 days, and that seasons the wood. A lot of people don't know this, but Boba has done a lot of research. A hundred count humidor needs 90 grams of moisture to penetrate into the wood and fill the cellular structure with moisture. So it's huge, because if you don't do that, then the Boba packs are gonna dry up in about 30 days. Now our other lines, are 65 all the way up to 75, that's for, for humidors, and those packs should last you about three months inside your humidor. We got 65 mainly for long-term storage, okay. or cigars that are super oily, or for Cuban tobacco, because Cuban tobacco tends to mold at a higher RH level. So you don't like to get I it up see. too high. So if you're, if you're experiencing a little bit of mold issues, I always say drop down an RH level and see how that does. Now 69 is perfect for airtight containers. Anything that's not wood and doesn't breathe moisture is perfect at 69%. Travel humidors, wine doors, cooler doors, uh, acrylic humidors, bags, tupper doors, everything. 72 is where I would start every single consumer with their wood humidor. Start at 72. Okay. Then you'll be able to get a baseline of where it's going. And then if you're still falling a little short because wood humidors naturally, they're probably about two to five points less than what's on the Boveda pack. So if you got a 72 in there, you're going to be in the high 60s. If you go with our 75, you're going to be right around 70 if you're dropping those five points. I also know that a lot of my customers that live in dry climates, mm -hmm. either the desert or high altitude, 75 is ideal for them. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh, wow. you're just struggling with that kind of vacuum of all the moisture going out of the humidor. So that's why we make so many different RH levels. So you guys broke it down to a science, basically. Oh, we've done a lot of science. We've done a lot of science. We have a lot of technology into this. So we're here to help with all the different RH levels that you guys need. And also, if you want any more information, you can always go to Boveda website you can email them so i'm sure you guys will get your answers but rob thanks for being here and uh, on the next clip i want to talk about what these little guys are you got it all right all right so next what we're going to talk about is the accessories now i don't know a whole lot about them but what i do like it is i love the way the minimalistic aspect of it the, the look it looks very minimal right and i love that i just yeah. wanted to say that clean but Perfect. can you please tell us about the accessories a little yeah, bit yeah absolutely thank you for saying that we did put a lot of effort into these wood holders obviously and there's different sizes this is what we call a stacked so it's going to be two boveda packs stacked on top of each other really easy for if you don't have a lot of room in that in the head of the humidor or it's a weird shape or you want to put two of these next to each other because you got stuff in the inside. We're just trying to come up with different ways because essentially this is going to hold four packs side by side and stacked. We also make this a little bit thinner to just hold two, 
So it's all about getting the right size into the lid of the humidor. And that's why we made So them. when you say stack, you mean two of these, one behind the other. Absolutely. So two of them stack. And this one is four because two stack on this side, two stack Absolutely. on this side. And Got let it. me just say, you don't have to have these. Boboda will work. You can set Boboda on top of your cigars. And it's not gonna hurt. I use my Boboda as dividers between sticks. Oh. It's not gonna hurt the cigars. It's not over humidifying cigars, no matter where it's located. This is just an opportunity to get the Boboda up into the lid, where there's usually dead space anyways, and, and put the more magnet. cigars inside. Obviously, we want you to have as many sticks as possible inside that humidor. Right. Get them over at MarosCigars.com. And that has the metal yes. backing with the magnet that attaches to the lid, so and that's how it gets suspended up there. Absolutely, so it comes with everything. Like you said, it comes with the magnet, and it comes with the metal plate. Now, some of the humidors have metal plates already right behind the them. veneer. Yes. So that's why we set it up this way, so you can figure out whatever system works for you, and you don't have to use all of it, but it's all there if you don't have any of it. All comes included. Now, this is the metal mounting plate, and the reason we had to go with the metal mounting plate is because you can see this is already almost as thick as this wood one. You only have about an inch to work with. So this is just under an inch, and then we have the metal plate, and then really what it does is it has these tabs on the back, and, and this has that, and it hooks, and it slides on. And now, the nice thing about this, in my 100 count humidor, I had two of these, and I mounted it this way. And, and it doesn't then, fall off. And when this needs to be replenished, you just slide it off. Buy another one, take it out of the yeah. bag, slide it back on. Absolutely, and this Brainless. comes, this comes with the same Love thing. It. This is obviously a metal plate and it comes with a magnet. So you just stick the magnet on the inside of the humidor. It's brilliant, easy, simple. And it keeps it clean. Keeps it clean and like I said, it gets it out of the humidor where you want more cigars. Because so many people have talked to me and they're like, hey, my humidification system is like waterlogged. It's got like this white stuff, you know, yeah. going on top of it. And I'm like, oh, you gotta, you know, toss it, buy a new one, and a new one costs so much money. With this one, you got the metal plate, this one's getting old, toss it, buy a new one, put it back on there. So it's always replenishing with freshness. Absolutely. I love it. All right, so I got my hands full here because we have three different sizes, and Rob, I need you to tell me what's up with the sizes. Yeah, man, it's, uh, the eight gram is on the end here. This is great for a bag of cigars or a travel humidor that holds right around anywhere from like Four, and on the high side, I would say 10. Oh, you wow. might need a few of these if you have a 10 count. Okay. You're always better if you can fit it to go with a larger size. Okay. This is the 60 gram size, and this size would be great for a wood humidor or any travel humidor. And the rule of thumb here is one for every 25 cigars, but remember it's total capacity of the humidor. So some people are I like, see. I got 25 cigars in my 100 count humidor. I just need one. No, no it's too you big need of four. You need to do one of these for every 25 total cigars that the humidor holds. Got it. Now, if you have an airtight humidor, like a bag or a tupperdor, you can get away with less, but I always recommend going a little bit more because they just last that much longer. That's You're not gonna lose out on your money. So this is a two way. This is, yeah, this is two way and more importantly, it's kind of, I always say it's kind of like pulling a boat. You want to pull a boat with a four cylinder engine or do you want to pull it with a V8? V8. Make sure you're just using a V8 at all times, the minimum amount, if I, not doubling it. I pass the test, V8, right? Yeah, there you okay. go. And, and then, then this is the big boy. This one's my favorite because this will do up to a hundred count humidor. So mm -hmm. if you have a winador or a coolador, use one of these for every cubic foot. So a lot of those winadors are measuring it's 3.5 cubic feet. We'll use four of these. And then if you have drawers inside those, uh -huh. so they have wood drawers, that's really hard for the moisture to get in there really quickly. Now it will get in there, but I use the 60 gram for the drawers. And again, most drawers hold anywhere from 50 to 100 cigars. So it's anywhere from two to four of these inside the drawer. So that's the lineup. Bovid has got every size to get you close. Now, if I you have it. a big cabinet humidor, we struggle, but at the end of the day, if you have a good container, it's all gonna depend on the container, how long Bovida lasts, but these should last, with the minimum recommendations, anywhere from two to four months. Love it. And if you double it, like I said, you just get more time out of it, so you're not gonna lose out. 
And once the pack is rock hard, that's when it's time to toss it. When it's about 50%, you know, I feel like 50% of it's done, I put a new one in, but I leave this one in here until it gets completely rock hard. And then you just change it out. There you have it, folks. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching another episode of Mondays with Mardos. Rob, thank you so much for being here. It's been a pleasure, and we still have another few hours to hang out, to bromance. But, you guys, so that's what we did. We talked about the different levels of humidity that Boveda offers within the cigar industry. Also, we talked about the accessories, and we talked about the different sizes that they offer. So, if you have any more questions, as I said, you can go to Boveda's website. You can also email us or comment us on uh, what you think about Boveda product. And remember, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Other than that, thanks again, Rob. Thanks for having me. Be sure to always be on tune to their YouTube channel because Gerard has some crazy specials That's and right. some rare cigars that he's only willing to release every once in a while. Don't tell him too much of my cigars. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that out. It's all good.